what happened to Odin after Ragnarok? What happens to the earth after Ragnarok? Let's find out. So what is Ragnarok? The Vikings believe that one day the world as we know it would come to an end. They call this day Ragnarok. Ragnarok is not only the doom of man but also the end of gods and goddesses. It will be the final battle between the Aesir and Giants. The battle will take place on the plains called Vigrid. It is here that the mighty Midgard serpent will be emerging from the sea while it splashes its tail and sprays poison in all directions, causing huge waves and crashing towards the land. Meanwhile, the fire giant Surtle will set Asgard and the rainbow bitch bite frost on fire. The fender wolf will break free of his chain and spread death and destruction. The sun and moon will be swallowed by the wolves called in Haiti, and even the world tree Yggdrasil will shake the ground. The signs of Ragnarok There will be some warning signs if Ragnarok is coming. The first sign is the murder of God Balder, the son of Odin and Frigg, which has already happened. The second sign will be three uninterrupted long cold winters that will last for three years with no summer in between. The name of these uninterrupted winters is called Fimbul Winter. During these three long years, the world will be plagued by wars and brothers will kill brothers. The third sign will be the two wolves in the sky swallowing the sun and the moon and even the stars will disappear and send the world into great darkness. So how does the Ragnarok begin? Roosters from all the world will warn the residents about the oncoming war and prepare for it. Heimdall will blow his horn as loud as he can and that will be the warning for all the warriors in Valhalla that the war has started. This will be the battle to end all the battles. And this will be the day that all the Vikings from Valhalla and Fokwangar who had died on Rebel in battle to pick up their swords and armors to fight side by side with the Aesir against the giants. The dead gods will rise once again to fight by their brothers. Giants will take sides with goddess Hell to defeat the gods. Odin will be riding on his horse Lepnir with his eagle helmet equipped and his spear Gagnir in his hand and leading the enormous army of Asgard in the fields of Vigrid. Odin and the Fender Wolf will fight each other to the death and Loki will turn on the Aesir and fight Heimdall and they will kill each other. Deir will fight the watchdog Garm that guards the gates of hell but also kill each other. Thor will fight the Midgard serpent and kill it but he will die of the poisonous wounds left behind by the Midgard serpent. Fear will be killed by the fire giant named Surtur. Finally Surtur will set all the nine worlds on fire and everything sinks into the boiling sea. There is nothing the gods can do to prevent Ragnarok. Odin's only comfort is that he can predict that Ragnarok will not be the end of the world. A new earth will rise from the sea. When most of the gods had perished in the mutual destruction with the giants, it is predetermined that a new world will rise up from the water, beautiful and green. Before the battle of Ragnarok, two people, Lif, a woman, and a Lif Fraser, a man, will find shelter in the sacred tree Yggdrasil, and when the battle is over, they will come out and repopulate the earth again. Several of the gods will survive, among them Odin's son, Vider in Bali, and his brother Honir. Thor's son Modi and Magni will inherit their father's hammer Mjolnir. They will form a new house to rule on everyone. Meanwhile, a house of corpses is also created as a spoil of the war, which will serve as a new wonder world. Ragnarok is yet to happen. <laughs>